Hey, Fair Craters! How are you? I miss you. What's going on? Guess what? We're gonna have art today. Do you think that I wasn't gonna see you? Oh, are you kidding me? This is a spiel. Every week I'll be making a YouTube art video so you have a lesson to do. So all you have to do is turn on YouTube once a week and you will find me. Does anyone remember what we were studying before we left? Could this song give you a hint? Yes, it is Egypt. Egypt, Egypt. Just because we are out of school doesn't mean that we're not going to continue with our studying of ancient Egypt because it's so cool. I was so excited to do this with you at school. And believe me, we will do clay um, sarcophaguses when we get back. I promise you, okay? But for right now, we're just going to um, make the best of it with paper, crayon, scissors, and the stuff that we might have at home, okay? So as you can see, I've got my beautiful Egyptian necklace on. Isn't it gorgeous? And I've done my ovens for you. My sister actually bought this in Egypt for me last summer when she visited um, Egypt. So let's talk about Egypt. Let's kind of refresh our memories because it's been a little bit of time. Um, tell me what continent Egypt is on. Yes, Africa. Oh, yes, so smug. What river runs through Egypt that they got their food and their soil and they used the this river to travel what was it oh yes the Nile good hey so you guys remember everything so archaeologists discovered something that has helped us understand so much about Egypt does anyone remember what they discovered Yes, the tombs, the tombs which were filled with artifacts and beautiful art on the wall. And they wrote a certain way. What was that writing called? Yes, hieroglyphics. What did hieroglyphics look like? Yep, pictures. Oh, you're so smart. Who's your art teacher? <laughs> Okay, so yes, we discovered the you know the the archaeologists discovered the artifacts and something else in those tombs, which you were all like, "Wow, this is cool!" But then when I told you about it, you were all like, ooh, 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 "You already throw up." What they find? Yes, the mummies. And so, what did they believe about? What did the Egyptians believe happened to them after they died? Yes, they believed they had an afterlife. So they created these lavish tombs and inside these tombs we would find artwork and the mummies and these great elaborate sarcophag sarcophaguses which were made out of stone, which were above the ground, which held the body. And many times um, the sarcophaguses were painted with the hieroglyphics and also pictures that told a story about what the pharaoh or queen wanted to happen to them when they went to their afterlife. And so these tombs were filled with so many different things that the pharaoh or the queen wanted to take with them to the afterlife. They believed that if they buried their cat, which was mummified, that that cat would come alive and go with them to their afterlife. They believed if they put a small boat with a thousand little uh, wood uh, soldiers in it, that that big boat or small boat would turn into a big boat with a thousand soldiers. That's what they believed. It's really fascinating. So we ended with the, the sarcophagus. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna kind of rewind and begin the project again and then actually finish it. So I will see you in a few minutes. Um, this is what I need you to get for this project. I need some paper. Um, printing paper will do okay, but if you have a thicker paper, that would even do great. So I would have maybe two, well, four of these in case you want to start over. And if you can take like an old cereal box and open it up and get some cardboard, that would be great too, or any cardboard will do well. It just has to be about the same size as your paper. And you're gonna need scissors. You are going to need a pencil. You are going to need uh, markers or crayons. It is up to you and some glue. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but if you can find an old white shirt, 
or um, a white rag that's kind of thin, um, that would be great. Shh, don't tell Dr. Mara. I took this from his drawer. Don't take it from your parents' drawer though. Make sure you ask, all right? Um, and you also could use toilet paper, but hey, the toilet paper dilemma. I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm not gonna suggest that you use toilet paper, but if your parents say, oh, it's okay, then when they watch the video and see how much you can use, then you have to discuss it with them. But don't take the toilet paper unless you ask them or they know. Capiche? Good, see you in a second. I'm so glad we're together again. I love you, my love bugs. Hey, welcome back. So let's begin. If you look at this example, you can see the shape of the sarcophagus box. It has sort of like a half oval and then it gently goes out and then gently curves in. And if you look at the head and then how far that goes out, there's not much of a difference. But I think it's really hard to try to make this symmetrical if you draw it all in one. So I'm going to give you um, a suggestion, which is we'll take another piece of paper and I would like you to fold the paper in half. Okay, kissing corners, just like I told tell you to do in school. And then we're just going to draw one half of the sarcophagus box, starting at the top. Don't start in the middle. Come on, remember my saying, da bigger, da better. So get up to the top, right there, just a little bit below it. And I want you to draw the head, kind of curve out like a half circle, and then curve out for the body, and then you have the feet, okay? And I'm gonna make that just a little bit rounder on top. So that's why we, like our pencils. Okay, so that is a perfect half sarcophagus box. Then what you're going to do is you are going to take the scissors. Hey, remember these, the fabric scissors? Um, and well, actually, it's not your class, it's the fourth grade, I'm sorry. I have all these grades, I just can't keep you all in line. Okay, so I'm cutting out the shape which now let's open it up and it is a beautiful, beautiful sarcophagus shape. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we are going to draw the head, which is, we're gonna make it flat, this is the face, and then come around and draw sort of the letter U, and there you have a perfect face. Try to get it in the middle. I'm drawing sideways, so if my stuff is a little off, please um, bear with me. Um, getting the camera angle is not easy. I'm learning a lot about this. So, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her some Egyptian eyes, and you saw my eyes. They, have, they make their eyes really dark, and even the men did too. If you can see it, it almost looks like a fish shape. And I'm gonna go on the other side and give it a rounded middle and then a fish tail. And I'm gonna make those eyes really dark, really dark. Bring them all the way over to the side. Dramatic, you know, makeup actually started in the ancient Egyptian time. So you've got some good eyes there. Now I'm gonna give her some great big eyebrows or he. Okay, and here's my nose. And now some lips. Okay, so she looks pretty happy. Okay, now I think I'm gonna even make my eyes a little bit darker. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the headdress. The headdress is pretty easy. Um, you know what you can do is just come down here, draw a line, just a 
kind of in the middle of the fold and then curve it around and curve it around and then you have your headdress. Does that make sense? So you bring it down, flat line, and then you can start those lines that we saw in King Tut's headgear. And you bring them around. You see how I kind of curve them on each side? Okay, I'm giving them a kind of a curve and then bring it down. Okay, and try to make it symmetrical. Whatever you see on one side, show it on the other side. Now, this is going to be the decorating of the sarcophagus box with the different uh, shapes and also hieroglyphics. Here I have an example of mine, and you can see that I drew some hieroglyphics. This is actually my name, and then down here it says art. I then added a ton of different patterns and designs in different colors, okay? I used marker. On this video, you will see some samples of designs and patterns that the Egyptians used, and you can stop and look at those when you're doing your work. Stop the video so you can see it. And it also included a hieroglyphic sheet so you'll be able to write something. So what I would like on the front of these are, I wanna see some patterns, I wanna see you do some hieroglyphics, do all of this in pencil first, and then I want to see um, you color it with marker or crayons, it's up to you. Um, what I did is I actually outlined everything in Marty the Marker before I colored. Um, I did my hieroglyphics in Marty because I think it's a little bit easier to see the shapes because we are working so small. So. Work on this, get your color and uh, your hieroglyphics and your patterns in it, and I'll see you in a second. Have fun. Welcome back. Okay, so now what we're going to do, and I'll show you what you can do with toilet paper if you get permission, is we are actually going to wrap these cardboards so they look like actual mummies. So I'm gonna take a slit here and just take that and hold it in, and push it into the slit like that so it holds it. And then I am going to wrap and wrap and rough, I know you're going, oh, cool, that is so cool, Jennifer, that is so cool. And keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, okay? That's what you can do with toilet paper if you get permission. Or you can take, same thing, what you do is you put a little slit in it and put it on the bottom, so the, the, this is on the bottom, and then you can, let me pull that through, that's a little too much, just wanna, just a little bit going through there. Okay, all right. And then you are going to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap until you have the whole mummy wrapped and bring it all the way down to the edge too, okay? I'll see you soon. Okay, so you may have found that you needed to use some glue to um, adhere some of the ends of the uh, fabric or the um, toilet paper. If you have hot glue, you could also use that too if you found the glue was a little difficult to, to use, but make sure that you um, talk to your parents about using the hot glue gun before you turn it on, capiche? So now we have this lovely mummy form, but I wanna make it look like it's old and sort of like, you know, it's been sitting there for years. So, hey, if your mom and dad drink coffee, I have a percolator, I know it's really like an old fashioned way to make coffee, but I love it. Look at, I've got all these coffee grounds in here. I know, look at that, ooh, it smells so good. You know what you might wanna do is take some of these coffee grounds, if you get permission, and rub it into the fabric or the 
toilet paper. And then it gives it this really ancient, like, oh, it's been sitting here for years. If you have a brown crayon and you wanna use the brown or a brown marker, you could do that as well. But I'm using coffee because I just think it's fun to, well, to just use coffee. All right, then I'm going to take the coffee and get it off because I don't want the grounds in it. So now I've got this really great looking ancient Egyptian mummy. Okay. Look, we're gonna be placing our top on top of it, but now we have to do the bottom of the sarcophagus case. And this is something that I didn't tell you. When you open up a sarcophagus case, you find the mummy, you find, you know, how ornate, you know, the top is very, very ornate, but when you open it up, you find the mummy. But at the bottom, did you know that it was actually a picture painted of what the person actually looked like in real life. So this is where I'm gonna have you do a self-portrait, or if this is not you, whoever you are drawing. So this is where you go in and draw the picture of the person you want to be buried. And you would draw the whole body. Okay, here, draw the eyes, here's the nose. I'm sorry, my hand gets in the way. I'll get better at this, I promise you, my loves, but I'm drawing sideways, so it's a little bit weird, to be quite honest. Okay, here's my ears, and maybe she has lots of hair. Lots of curly hair. Okay, here's her eyebrows. Maybe this, she liked lots of jewelry. I don't know who she reminds me of. Here's her body. And maybe she's wearing a dress. So you go down and you draw the entire body of the person buried. You are then going to do the same coloring as you did in here. Um, I would, uh, you don't really have to do designs in here. It's just the body and then the background of the, um, the case actually would be gray because it's stone. So you could color around her body with a gray crayon creating a stone look. And you can, I always like to take you know, brown and gray and mix it together to give it a little bit more depth. But I'm not gonna show you how to do the body because you can do that. And in the end, what you're going to have is this wonderful, beautiful art creation of the sarcophagus top, the mummy, and then the bottom, okay? Hey, have fun with this. And I will see you next week. I miss and I love all of you.